typical school day I come in log into the computer set up everything I have to make sure that I have all of my PowerPoints ready and that I have any of the online tools that I will use I do pass out papers to my students but I still like to have everything on the screen because I don't have a document camera or an Elmo to show what are we talking about and how we are following along with the text if we're reading it so I make sure that I have it presented on the screen so that they can see and then we can do any type of annotating notes together um, so that is all on the board and ready for me in the morning and then I go and I teach my lessons I sometimes like to clean and organize them in the morning uh, if I feel like the custodians didn't do a great job with the cleaning the day prior, I do some of that. Um, and then sometimes at the end of the day, if I notice one or two students had to bolt out the door, I also like to clean up a little bit after them just so that I make sure that for safety and precautions that I'm 100% sure that everything has been cleaned. Um, so that's what I do. As I've told you in a previous video, a lot of reconstruction or a lot of just construction is happening in the building. Hence, a lot of teachers are moving all over the place. The room that I'm currently teaching in isn't going to be my room for the school year. A different teacher is going to come in here and teach, but I am in here for now. We're in March right now and a lot of changes are happening and coming our way we're going to have even more changes after spring break but we don't know what they are yet so it'll be interesting to see what those changes are I also just quickly wanted to show what I have for my dins this week specifically I chose to do a visual and asked the question of identifying the who, what, when, where, and why of the picture for the students so that they can kind of start thinking creatively about storytelling. So it, this is the creative writing class and they are thinking creatively and I like to do a fun little gif on Fridays to get students excited for the weekend.
just eating lunchtime now, getting ready for a meeting that I'll have in about 10 minutes and then leaving this room. So you saw me setting this room up in the morning for the students, but as you see all of the stuff here, this is another teacher's room, or it will be once we finish construction in the building. So I'm teaching here in the mornings and then the teacher whose room this is is gonna come in in the afternoon so that they can like clean up and organize a little bit. Um, so this is a new recent change and this is maybe the fifth time that I'm in a new room during the school year. So a lot of moving happening and so many moving parts this year. Also my afternoons consist with a lot of like school-wide meetings. So we meet all together for a principal's update or we meet based on department. Um, so I'm not going to film those but I just wanted to share that those are a big part of my afternoon as well as lesson planning and setting up my demonstration videos into our Canvas course. Um, it is Tuesday, so I need to have those all ready for the teachers for Wednesday morning. Is it just me or is this the most satisfying feeling at the end? of a very, very long day. Just being able to hit shut down. There's so many days at the end of my work day that I just put my computer to sleep because I still need to do work when I go home. So this is a close to the day. Is it just me or when I have to leave work, I have to make sure everything is kind of set up, organized like that so that I can leave and feel at peace? Let me know if you guys do that too. Every day is my typical day. I do the same thing no matter Monday or Tuesday, except Tuesday. I have a grad class, but today I just forgot to film some things today, so I will try and do those that I missed tomorrow so you will see my outfit interchange and some other things that are different. I also redid my office space, so if you saw my first a video of uh, what's in my bag. I was down here and I was setting up my office and my desk used to be over here um, but excuse the mess again my desk used to be over here but now I decided to move my desk over here just so that I could get a little bit better lighting and right now I am going to film my demo videos. I have one for journalism and one for creative writing. So let's get to it. Readers and writers, I hope you are doing well and that you are enjoying maybe some of this warmer weather that we are starting to get. In today's video, we are going to discuss conflict. Hello journalists, I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that you are having a wonderful time finding your beat and writing your news story. So hopefully you have written a few stories or at least gotten the chance to interview someone because in today's video we are going to talk about using proper quotations in your article. This way, we are going to avoid character defamation. So then, take a moment, think, rewatch any of these slides to help you answer the question. And good luck reporting. Make sure you are using correct quotations. <laughs> 